let's talk about coming to America and that whole thing. But, you know, it really is about this great love affair you have with Eddie Murphy. I mean, you guys are really close. Do I have that relationship right? Absolutely. We came up at a time where we learned this whole thing together. We went through all this together. You were a young uh, stand up mm -hmm. in that crowd. How did that famous meeting happen? Eddie would come here from New York, and I think he was in town to do The Tonight Show. Right. Uh, probably around the time he was also shooting 48 Hours. I think I got that timeline right. And Keenan Wayans called me and said, why don't you meet us at the Improv? Because Keenan's a New York comic, and they were friends with Eddie. And he said, Damon, my brother's coming. You haven't met Damon. You got to come meet Damon. And uh, we all met in front of the Improv. And Eddie's mother had told Eddie, I saw a young man on solid gold, and he did stand up, and I think you all look like you could be brothers. I want you to look for Arsenio when you get out there. So Keenan heard that story and introduced us, and the first thing Eddie ever said to me in, in Murphy fashion, he looked at me and he says, nigga, you don't look like me. <laughs> That's the first thing he ever said to me. And then we went into improv. And uh, yeah. oh, that's so funny. I have this whole theory about, you know, Eddie going back and doing stand up comedy. Everybody debates it. I don't think Eddie will because I think Eddie, Eddie is too great. His shit that he did was so good. He doesn't want to go back and be anything less than that. We had an idea because there's so many comics on this. I mean, from Tracy Morgan to Michael Blackson to Louis Anderson. Uh, Jermaine Fowler, so many comics. And so I, I came to Eddie and I said, here's a way to get back on. We do a, a tour with all these people and you can do five minutes here. You could do two minutes, you know, but that's a great way to promote the movie. I even had a title uh, coming all over America. And I thought that would be <laughs> yeah. a perfect title. And he loved yeah. that. And, he, and, and I think if there wasn't a coronavirus pandemic, we would have got Eddie on the road. I don't know what's going to happen now because I suggested to him, I said, you know, they have a drive in here and you can do stand up and people blow their horns when it's funny. And he says, nigga, I'm not doing stand up at no motherfucking drive in. Why don't you go to the fucking drive in? <laughs>